everyone, welcome back to my next video. Well, we're in for a real treat today. We are catching back up with Linda. Hi, Linda. Hello. And uh, Linda, you've been on the road for how long now? Three years. Three years. My goodness. This that's is a, the, coming up on the end of my third year. Amazing. That's a uh, long well, time. Well, COVID during 2020, of course, that was sporadic, but I retired the 1st of January 2020 and I've been on the road since. And you've been in a couple rigs now, three. This will be kind of your third. So what has been your evolution on rigs? Started out in a Hyundai Santa Fe Sport, added a very small utility trailer to that. Then I purchased a travel trailer in addition to those, the first two. Then I bought the truck with the travel trailer and I sold the Hyundai. So I still have the utility trailer, the travel trailer, and the truck. And now you've been traveling with me for a, a while now, and you wanted to, for this trip, you wanted to be very tight and small, and you moved into just the pickup. Correct. I didn't want to drag the either of the trailers. I didn't know where you might take me, so. Yep. <laughs> and we've been in the, in the back country we the whole time. Been. Uh, you have a nice, the nice little tiny. It's small, but very pleasant little travel trailer. Yes, a 1973 Travel Mate, which is a, a classic vintage, but vintage, yes, really pleasant. But it's very roomy for two people. It might be a little cramped, but um, I've had three in for dinner, and it wasn't too bad. So now you've been in this uh, just the shell for three and a half months, and you have something you have a real comparison you can compare it to being in the high end day the suv and yes. the and the just the cargo trailer then that and then this so uh for the folks out there who are thinking about do, can they live in a shell or do they need a, a travel trailer uh you are in a perfect position to help them out what do you think so far i love it it's exactly what i wanted what i was looking for it's tight. If you have um, any type of a mobility issue where you can't be on your knees and moving around, sitting cross-legged or on your knees, I wouldn't advise it. But as far as getting the job done, living, you know, for, for a place for security and out of the weather, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I put the reflect picks up so there's privacy there and I have this little curtain privacy in the back. Um, I've never felt unsafe. I'll show a, bit, a second bed in, the, in a moment that I put in the cab just in case I felt unsafe. I could. So what but, kind of unsafe? Well, how would you feel unsafe? Well, if I um, heard possibly uh, bears or saw bears out in camp or um, that type of thing. That thing, yeah because they they would have a hard time getting in there, but I would want to be able to drive away from, you know, if they were in my immediate area. And I couldn't do that if I were in the back. Right, the big problem with security in the back is you got to get out. To get in the cab. To get in the cab. Right, so. If you're in bear country, which we, have no, we haven't seen any bears yet. No. So, but they're out there, but we haven't seen any. Yeah. So, we, if they're not where we were, I don't know where they would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we've we've spent the summer deep in the back country, right? Which raises one of the hugest advantages of being in the pickup is how easy this thing is to drive into the back country. Correct. Yeah, I was a little worried, skeptical. I knew I didn't want to tow you know, the trailers, especially that '73. Right. Um, We'd have beat it to pieces. Yeah. It's very. It's got high clearance. Not a four-wheel drive, but it been just the go-getter as far as I'm concerned. Okay, yeah, yeah. And, you know, you're not towing a trailer, even a small travel trailer, like no. your 73, mm -hmm. but it's, uh, you're getting better gas mileage. Yes. Probably substantially better gas mileage. Mm -hmm. My pocketbook can't tell it, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gas because is so of, expensive. It, yeah, the price increase, but. Yes. If you're watching this in the future, gas is uh, regular has been around five dollars a gallon. Most places we've mm -hmm. been. And in, in the back country, it's even more expensive. Yes. 
So that difference in, uh, I bet you're getting a third more. So at $5 a gallon, spending a third less is pretty significant. Yeah, it, it's, it evens out. But. Yeah. So, and it's worked for you so far. It has. It has. Yeah, it's I a couldn't luxury. ask for anything more. It's a luxury apartment. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I guess to some it could be. And you made it really simple. And We have a video on the build, so go back and watch the video on the build. Mm -hmm. uh, but you made it very, very simple and yes. easy. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be too complicated. Um, in case I need to take it out for any reason. Okay, well, why don't we take a look around and you show us your little luxury apartment on wheels. Okay. All right. Come on in. Let's do that. All right. Why don't you uh, walk us through your lovely little home? My lovely little home. Outside, I have my, my potty and my kitchen all in the same box. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> a water jug for my water. This is just basic storage. Got these little boxes at Walmart. They detach. Really easy to take down. Utensils to cook with. Coffee. Spices. Little Another thing I found at Walmart just to hold different stuff. A little Bluetti a friend gave me. A refrigerator. Nice. Yeah, and it's powered... Uh, it comes directly off the solar, off the battery I have, which is back in the corner back here. Yeah, there's your solar system. Mm -hmm. How much solar do you have and where is it? 310 watt panel on the roof of the camper shell. Good, that's, that's a substantial amount. Well, it's more than I need for this little. Nine times out of 10, the battery is at 100% charged. And this, these are all my clothes up here in these boxes like this and this. I don't know, can you see? I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. uh, explain to people what those are sitting on. Oh. Because I happen to um, know. This is a three bedroom. <laughs> Luxury apartment. Right. <laughs> camper. This is a um, quarter inch, three quarter inch three quarter. plywood. Yeah. Um, that just goes from the side rail of the, ca the camper shell right here side to side and I can put my mattress from the front back here and you know have a second person sleeping up here right I could sleep up there if something was going on down here right and then my food is under here too this is just a little um, open tray I found at the farmers market or at the farm store like tractor supply and it holds food and this is a blow-up air mattress. Got this at REI, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, uh, X-Bed? Was that yes, what that was, if I remember right? You are correct. It was. So, you know, and I just put a little hook in here to hang things on. I usually have my brush over here like this and uh, stuff. This is just a little table that Anya made, to, and it covers the wheel well. But, um, and I didn't want it tied, uh, screwed down to begin with. I might do that in the future. Um, and there's not a lot else <laughs> to this. It's that very, was the whole tour? That was it. Yeah. <laughs> Reflect fix. This is real, you know, and I might advise putting either two or three layers of this on. And I just unscrewed a couple of the windows, the screws that hold the window in. And, um put it right through the reflectix so it yeah. doesn't fall. This is a little rubber mat I got at Home Depot. Mm -hmm. Rolls up. These husky mats, they're awesome for your knees. Yes. In and out of the tailgate, these things are extremely comfortable. Sometimes I even sleep on just this and this. Right. Um, because you're like, on your knees the whole time you're inside. Right, right. And it's, it's very doable that way. I've got the fans that run off the Blue Eddy. There's a little bit of storage down here. We're having a birthday party in a couple of days, so I've got some little cakes for birthday parties. And all of this stuff is not expensive. 
you know, these were like a dollar at Dollar Tree, a buck twelve at Walmart for these. Just very, very inexpensive. Yeah. You don't have uh, hardly anything at all, really, no. in this build. No, 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 no. Um, I found a little rod, a used little curtain rod that I just put in here. And again, I unscrewed the around this frame every so often and put these little ties in to hold that up. And that's what I closed the curtain with. Yeah. Right. And then the curtain is just an old sheet I found at some thrift store somewhere. And I just close it like this at night. And first of all, we've been in the mountains, uh, so heat has not been an issue. But we've had some hot days. How does it, does it stay cool enough? Yes. If I position the truck correctly, right. the, this door, hatch door back here needs to be due north. Right. And then the sunshine does not come in as much. Um, and then with the little fans, I usually put one up here and it pulls the cool air in. So it's, it's very pleasant in here. Yeah. Even during the hottest of the days we've had so far. Yeah. Now you are, as soon as we get back out of the, uh, out of the mountains on this trip and back into the desert, you'll move back into the trailer. The travel trailer. Right. Because yeah, it's in storage right now. It's just bigger and nicer. You know, it's more comfortable. Yeah. So... But this it, it, this is a great way to go. Yeah, I'm not going to be in the back country. I'm right. going to be near a city and, or closer to a town, not a city. Um, but I won't be moving the trailer. Right. Yeah. So you just found a way to, to make a compromise and enjoy both. Mm -hmm. Best of both worlds. All right. Very good. All right, right. Okay, so uh, you have a super cab, so you got a lot of stuff up there. I do. So should we check it out? Sure. All right, let's do that. Okay. That's the, that's the uh, third bedroom. The third bedroom, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So, Linda, now we're up front taking a look at your cab, and you've got an enormous amount of storage space up here. Yes. And how did you make that happen? Well, I had much help. Uh, Anya built a bed for me, half-inch plywood, I suppose, legs and they made it so I had storage underneath all the way across. Yeah, that is a huge amount of space yeah. under there. You could really, really get a lot of stuff in there. Right. And, and above it too. And they made it so that I could put a mattress on and sleep up here if need be. So there's a refrigerator behind Cody right that uh i run off the jackery and i just swapped the jackery and the little blue eddy you saw in the back earlier and just charged directly off my battery and then swap those out to run that refrigerator and as we see if you're a person who has a dog on the road you've got a perfect place for him to hang out and yeah. sleep and <laughs> yeah Cody seems to enjoy it. Oh, Cody loves it. <laughs> I think he likes hanging out here just as much as he does with me. <laughs> and then we have, or I have, a backpack for all the copies of all my important documents and things I need to keep. My hiking backpack and just different, you know, little storage bag I made. Stuff. Yeah. This just keeps my drinks cool when I travel. I have a tent over here that has a few things in. If I'm camped for a while in a certain place and I want to ride into town, you know, I can um, take some things out so that I have more room um, if someone wants to ride with me. Or, right. Yeah. So after uh, three and a half months now of being in the sh uh, pickup in the shell, mm -hmm. uh, give us your uh, final impressions. Does it work? Absolutely. I love it. It's a little cramped in the back, but... You know, if you're going to ha live in something like this, you're going to know that prior to going in. And I was very aware that it was going to be a small space, but that's exactly what I wanted. And it works. It's excellent. 
Okay, well, thank you so much, Linda, for sharing your home with us and and all the your great work as the camera lady. And uh, so, folks, I hope you've got some really good ideas here. Just pull the back seat out of one of these super cabs and build a bed. And my goodness, you've got storage and an extra sleeping space. you got a spare bedroom for your luxury apartment. And uh, you are set. And even, who knows, maybe even a, co a dog like Cody will adopt you and move in. Right. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to that either. Yes. <laughs> Hot code. Okay, well, folks, I hope you got something out of this video. Uh, that you've got uh, some good ideas you could learn. And what do you think? Could you live in this small space if you had to? If this is what you needed to do, could you do it? I'd love to hear from you. Well, thanks again, Linda. You're welcome. Well, folks, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. <laughs>